Welcome to my YouTube channel. In this lecture, we'll talk about stale data in React Query. What is stale data and how we can work around? Let's just dive into the lecture. So as you can see that we created this small application where we have all of the posts and for all of the posts, we have comments and then we get in the post as well here. So if I go back to the homepage, I refresh, I don't see any cache data because I refreshed the application. When I go to the post, you can see the posts are fetched, but they this is basically in stale form. So basically React is caching the data. So if I go back to the home page and come back, you, you don't see the loading indicator anymore and the data is served from the cache. And this cache data is by default cached for 30 minutes. If I go to the network tab over here and I check it from here and for example if I go to the home page and I come back again you can see that the request is still made since the data is still but still the request is made and I'm getting the data from the API itself so in this case let's say that this, this post doesn't change often and uh, I don't want the request to be made so I want to just stale the data for some amount of time or just cache them for some amount of time and I don't want to make an extra request for date. So what we can do over here is I'll just go to the posts and in here I can pass another play. I can call it stale time and in milliseconds I can define that okay for how long I want the data to be stale. I want the data to stay there because I, the post doesn't change that often so I want them to stay there. And after a certain amount of time, it should change. So let's say for five seconds or maybe for 30 seconds, I want to stale the data. So for three, 30 seconds, it will stale the data now. When I go to the home page and I refresh, you see nothing over here in the ne uh, network tab. When I go to the post, you see a post request is made. And now you can see that this data is fresh. So this will stay in the fresh condition instead of the stale for 30 seconds and then it will go to the stale but before that when i go back to the home page and come back to the post you can see no more network requests are made so once the 30 seconds are passed the data will be in the stale condition so then new data will be fetched from the api so you can see now it's staled and when i go back to the home page and come back you can see another request is made, but again, the data is in the fresh mode and it's not anymore in the stale mode. So this is basically what a stale data is. So what is basically the difference between the stale data or stale time and cache time? So if the query is stale, you'll still get data from the cache, but a background refetch can happen under certain conditions. But if I give it the stale time, then the data will be fresh for that certain times and no other background request will be made to the API in order to get the fresh data. So it will stay in the fresh tag then. So that's all about the stale data and it's useful for any conditions or it is useful for the use cases in which you, you think of an application that the data doesn't often really change in certain pages. Uh, let's say a blog post or something like that then in that time we can you know increase the stale time and we won't the, the background refetch won't happen and we won't be making any request to the api otherwise if you think that the data is too dynamic and it's changing too dynamically then uh, we can we don't have to specify the stale time or we can decrease the stale time in order to refetch the data the more dynamically so yeah i hope that you have learned something new this in this lecture Please like and share the video, subscribe to our channel, and push the bell icon for future updates. And until then, I'll see you in the next lecture.